The Stanford Prison Experiment, conducted back in 1971, is a well-known psychological study that shed light on the darker side of human nature. Led by psychologist Philip Zimbardo, the experiment aimed to explore how ordinary individuals would behave in a simulated prison environment when assigned to play the roles of either prisoners or guards. To set the scene, Zimbardo and his team transformed the basement of a Stanford University building into a makeshift prison. They carefully selected 24 participants, all male and deemed to be emotionally stable, to play the roles of prisoners and guards. The study was initially planned to last two weeks, but had to be terminated after only six days due to the shocking turn of events that unfolded. Within a very short span of time, the participants started to internalize their assigned roles to an alarming extent. The guards began to exhibit authoritarian behavior, often treating the prisoners in a dehumanizing and cruel manner. Conversely, the prisoners started to display submissive behaviors and mental distress, with some even experiencing breakdowns. All of this unfolded in the absence of any explicit instructions to act this way. The experiment revealed the disturbing extent to which ordinary people can conform to roles and expectations within a specific context, as well as the ease with which they can resort to abusive behavior when granted power over others. It demonstrated that situational factors can often play a more significant role in shaping human behavior than individual personalities or morals. Despite the significant insights gained from the Stanford Prison Experiment, it has been widely criticized for a number of ethical concerns. The primary issue was the absence of informed consent, as the participants were not fully aware of the potential risks and consequences of participating in the study. Additionally, the psychological harm inflicted upon the prisoners far exceeded what was considered acceptable by contemporary ethical standards. Moreover, the impartiality of the experiment has been questioned, as Zimbardo himself played an active role as the prison superintendent, which may have influenced the behaviours of the participants. There have also been accusations that the guards were subtly encouraged to be aggressive, thus influencing the outcome of the study.